Damn, so Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez just got in a real physical fight before the press conference even started. They were talking trash back and forth, and for some reason Canelo got really mad because I think he's still salty that Caleb Plant was exposing them for being drug cheats, and so he pushed them and they started fighting. Um, Caleb Plant's glasses hit his cheek and it cut him, and he has a little cut on his cheek. He said it was nothing too serious, and it was an interesting way to start the press conference for sure. So the weird thing about this press conference today was Canelo getting so mad. Like, I did not understand that one bit. Like, I mean, you guys all popped positive for PEDs. Like, what can you be mad about? Like, that's what I don't understand. And there's people out there who are still trying to defend Eddie Reynoso in the training camp and Canelo, Oscar Valdez, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't understand it. I mean, fool me once, shame on you. And fool me twice, shame on me. Because I shouldn't be getting tricked again. So if you trick me again, you're simply just a fool. But not once, not twice, three times. So the fact that people still defend it is really ridiculous. Caleb Plant said nothing wrong today. He exposed the truth. He exposed what the boxing world's too scared to talk about. And like he said, boxing's a dangerous sport already as it is. And so the fact that people are taking these PEDs to give them an advantage in a sport we can die in, eh, it's just not, it's not good. You know, the boxing doesn't talk about it enough, and they're not punished as harsh as they really should be. And that's just what I believe, to be honest. And the funny part was, um, when Caleb Plant called him a the motherfucker, cause Canelo got so mad. He was like, don't talk about my mother. Don't talk about my mother. But he knows dang well that's not what mother effer means. That is not what that word means. It's not an insult to your mom. Because, first of all, we've heard Canelo say it. Yeah, we did. Remember? I'm gonna fuck you out right now, motherfucker. 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 Exactly. He was saying it when he was talking about the whole get the F out of here thing. He said it. So that just proves to me, like, he was just mad the whole time. So whatever Caleb Plant said to him, he was just gonna get really angry because I think Caleb Plant's really in his head. And it really hurt Canelo when he talked about how they're all drug cheats. And, you know, that's a sensitive spot for all of them. But, I mean, you guys pop positive for PEDs. I mean, there's no questioning. Are you a drug cheat or not? I mean, three times? Okay, that's ridiculous. Also, Caleb Plant called him a drug cheat. And then Canelo was like, excuses. Don't make excuses. Excuses. What do you mean excuses? Somebody taking a PED and them winning, that's not an excuse. Even boxing thinks that shouldn't be allowed. And that's why these are performance-enhancing drugs. And then every time a boxer pops positive for a PED... They always try to make themselves like they're the victim. Like, they be telling the most ridiculous things ever. Like, like how can you blame it on steak? Like, what meat are you eating, honestly? Like, what meat are you eating? Because I love me some steak. I guarantee you my steak doesn't have computer oil in it. So that's what I'm confused about. They be like, I was sleeping at nighttime. The steak just walked in and it had, it had PEDs in it. It forced me to eat it. It's like, bro, you're not the victim. You're the one who took the PED, so stop making these excuses. You want to talk excuses? Excuses are when you blame some meat for what you're taking for your PEDs. Same thing with Tyson Fury. We can talk about all the drug cheats that the boxing world loves, and they call them all class acts. He's a good guy. And they call Canelo, he's a, he's a good guy, he's a gentleman, he's humble. What I saw at the press conference today, that wasn't his usual self. He didn't look humble to me. So, you be the judge of that. So anyway... They went up to the podiums. They both said their piece. Caleb Plant was saying how throughout his whole life, nobody ever believed in him. He had to work hard to get where he was. He didn't get to grow up around pro boxers and learn from pro boxers, follow their ABC step. People never believed in him. Believed in him. He was always the underdog, and he's always proved them wrong. And then he caught, that's when they started almost fighting again because he caught him a motherfucker. And yeah, you know, it got a little crazy there. It's pretty entertaining to watch. I'll give it that. But, you know, and then Canelo went up there on the podium and said, um, I'm levels ahead of you. And I'm going to beat you November 6th. And, yeah. Then they asked Eddie Reynoso some questions. He continued to make excuses about his fighters. You know, it was, a, it was pretty much the whole press conference. Um, there was an entertaining fight before the actual fight on November 6th. Um, Caleb Plant exposing them from being drug cheats. Canelo and them getting in their feelings, getting mad, getting getting mad like we never seen them before. You know, entertaining press conference. Um, I don't know who's gonna win the fight, but I know that Caleb Plant was spinning facts today. And hit the like, hit the subscribe, comment below who you think's gonna win. 
and thanks for watching.